Okay, it's extra, extra bonus practice for hemiola. So we're going to build on what we did in the last video. Um, so I'm not gonna have the metronome on this time. I'm just going to speak and clap and conduct through. Let's jump to kind of where we were at the end of the last video, which was speaking on numbers and either clapping or conducting. I'm gonna start with clapping. So I'm going to clap groupings of three. I'll give one bar of speaking groupings of three, and then I'm gonna to switch to speaking groupings of two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So hopefully you're nice and comfy with it. So now I'm going to put little ties on all of those one twos, and I'm just gonna speak a big three against the clapping of two. So I'm gonna go through that whole progression. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the last thing to do is turn that one, two, three into just time. Let's add that on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, ta, ta, ta. Now, last step, let's switch from clapping to conducting. So you're going to conduct in a two pattern and go through that entire progression. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, big three, and then switch it to just ta's instead of numbers. So here's your two pattern, dot, 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 dot. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. So now you can kind of get that in your body. So if that were in notation, it would be, we would have a notated six, eight. You would have dotted, quarter notes, that's your conducting pattern, and what you're speaking would be regular quarter notes, so groupings of two eighth notes that are sitting against the groupings of three that are shown in your conducting pattern. We're gonna do that whole thing again, but we're gonna switch it. So now you're going to be, you're gonna start with clapping in groups of two. So we'll speak groupings of two for a bar, and then we'll switch to speaking groupings of three for a bar. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're gonna add in ties. So you're going to speak a large two against the clapping pattern of three. We'll go back to the very beginning. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now last step, we're gonna turn that big one, two into just two ta's. So from the beginning. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, ta, ta. Ta, 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 ta. All right, now let's switch over from clapping to conducting. And we'll go all the way back to the beginning. So you're going to speak one, two, one, two, one, two, and then switch to speaking one, two, three, one, two, three. Speak a big two, and then ta a big two against your three pattern of conducting. And once we get there, I'll extend it for a couple measures. So here's your pattern, one and one and one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Ta, 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 ta. So if this were in notation, it would be a notated time signature of three, four. So you're conducting the quarter notes, you're conducting in three, four. And what you have that you're speaking, you you're speaking dotted quarters over that three, four. 
Other fun things to do with this, if you couldn't tell, I really like this. I had no reason to make this video. I was just kind of bored. Um, and here we are. So uh, other things you can do. You can, we talked about walking on the beat. So stepping on the beat and speaking the alternating pattern or speaking the, the conflicting pattern. Um, two hands. I don't know if I have any percussionists this semester, but you're probably really good at that. The rest of us, maybe not so much. Um, so putting threes in one hand and twos in the other, and that's what we'll get to with the polyrhythm stuff. So this is just kind of getting you into the groove of that. The really important thing is just that you can feel it in your body somehow. So once you kind of get into that groove, you really feel how those two layers connect to one another. Okay. That's my uh, extra, extra bonus episode on hemiola practice and drills. I hope it's helpful. Have fun. Um, and I'll be back soon with whatever's next. I don't know what day it is. I have no idea what week we're in, but um, I'll figure it out. Hope you guys are well.